They say words are powerful and they are able to create any kind of future that we speak into. That's true. But not until you hear what he encountered. She was beautiful. When he looked at her, he could literally see himself as a reflection of perfect existence. He went to her, and this day, he was determined to pop the question. He said to her, You are beautiful. You are ultimately the definition of what it means to be amazing. At the literal instance of your gaze, you send existence into oblivion, and I remain in wonder. And when I look at you in the eye, I literally see the beautiful days of our future. Then he reached out to his pocket and he got a small box and he popped out the question, will you marry me? With a smile and not a tear, he asked him a question, do you work now? Have you factored out a future for us to live in? And him being a guy, he said, don't worry about that. Or cross the bridge when we get there. But she said, no, you're not understanding my point. I will not subscribe to a future which is not certain. And passionately, romantically, and as much as she could, she put her hand on his cheek and said, Darling, words are sweet, but they never take the place of food. Now, a lot of us, we have believed that we can say words and sit back and the future will arrive. A lot of us will have believed that whatever word that we can say, whether negative or positive, has a way of becoming regardless of what we ultimately can do about it. Now, there's a thin line between that and the actual acquisition of the future. Because what makes the future possible has little to do with words, but more to do with actions. Because here it is, every heart that desires success should be willing to convince the hand to cooperate to that core because nothing happens until we work it out and in the working out of things that is where the future is defined and is certain he loved her and for sure he said beautiful words to her but still her heart was clear to what really makes up life the work it's good to say positive words it's good to be positive in life. But there's nothing that can be as powerful as acted out words. Now here's what I like to say. Every intention can be defined and every intention can be understood. But only those intentions that I express are the only ones that can easily be understood. So a lot of us intend to become someone, intending to become somebody. But until we can learn to ultimately act out our intentions, we will never be understood. Sometimes you have to take out risks. Sometimes you have to keep quiet and let your work stop. Because that old adage is still true today. But actions speak louder than words. You can never, never really mean anything in silence. In fact, silence has got no justification. So if you want to become anything and or if you want to become anybody, I mean anybody, big, successful and worth and happy, you'll have to act it out. Yes, even if you want to be happy, you'll have to act it out. So make a resolve today that you are going to act out your intention. I know you have a lot of things bubbling in your mind, bubbling in your heart, but you know what? We don't see them. We will only see those things that you will act out. So convince your heart, convince your mind, that for these things that we have in our mind, in our heart to become, we will have to act. So that resolve will ultimately make the future that you see in your head possible. And that resolve can be made today. My grandfather's name is Monga and my name is Ollie.